Lesson 11, placing fractions on a number line. So first thing I need to do is, when I'm looking at this, is we'll read, the, read the questions. Fractional position on a number line. Okay, right here. So basically this is asking me, where is this on the number line? Give me a mixed number that represents this. So first thing I gotta do is realize, hey, this is in between one and two. So my whole number is gonna be one. Second thing I need to do, how many of these little tick marks are, are there? There's three. That tells me it's split into one, two, three, four equal pieces. So I know my denominator is going to be four. So how many pieces is this right here? Well, let's count. One, two, three. Three-fourths. This may be a little confusing, so I'm going to go ahead and erase these numbers right here. I count the little marks right here, and then I add one. That tells me how many pieces I have all together. Okay? So one, two, three, and four pieces. So this is one and three-fourths. So go ahead and give the video a pause, and I want you to try to find the mixed number for B. Thirteen-fifths or two and three-fifths, whichever one you prefer, Okay, because it says fraction or mixed number, and this is a, a fraction. Okay, so either one of those answers works. Okay, remember, I have to first thing I have to do is figure out how many is it split it, or it's in between two and three. It's in between two and three, so my whole number is a two. There's one, two, three, four. So I add one. That's how I got five as my denominator, and then I just count the ticks. One, two, three. That's my numerator. Okay, moving along. So now we're placing numbers on a uh, number line. Okay. So I'm going to plot 2 and 1 third and 1 and 5 6. Now, Houston, we have a problem. This 2 and 1 third doesn't really go with this because this, these are this split into 6. So how in the world do I get from 3 to 6? Well, times 2. So what do I do to the numerator? times 2. So 2 and 2 6 is the same thing as 2 and 1 third. Quick adjustment there. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So 2 and 2 6. So that's in between the 2 and the 3. There's 1 6. There's 2 6 right there. Okay. And then 1 and 5 6. There's one. It's in between one and two. So I count over one, two, three, four, and five. And there's one and five six. Okay. So we've got one and seven tenths. So here's one. And here's two. Uh oh. Let's do a quick change. I want you to cross this off and I want you to make this one and I've got the wrong line drawn for this. Let's change this to one and uh, four sixths. One and four sixths. So it's in between one and two. One, two, three, and four. Right there. Okay. And we're going to change this. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to make this three and one sixth. Okay, so it's in between three and four, and we count over one for three and one sixth. Okay, apologize for the uh, mistake in, in number lines, things like that happen, but we adjust it. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do at school tomorrow. And these are correct, I promise. Uh, so enjoy your evening, and we'll see you tomorrow.